Oh, welcome back. Episode 10. <laughs> 10. So, now we had done a little bit of, uh, you know, real-time test marketing. We weren't happy with our game board. We knew that had to change, so we started looking for different options. And one of the items or products that I had thought about was vinyl, like upholstery vinyl. And uh, I had played around with some samples. It uh, rolled up nicely. It didn't crease. It unrolled and laid flat. So I went to a local screen printing company and had a couple of samples done up um, so we could do some test marketing. And uh, yeah, it, uh, it seemed to be. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, this this is all your like doing this stuff because I moved to Alberta. Yeah, just all, during this time, so. I'm not I'm kind of uh, inconveniently disposed of over that way. So Wayne's talking to me about this violence, and I think this is it. This is it's looking real good. So I'm absolutely, man. You know you're, yeah. you know what you're up to. So um, yeah. kind of made that decision to. Yeah, you know, we decided to proceed. Like you know, money's always been tight in this venture. So we had a couple of samples done up. I did a local trade show and I demoed the game using these vinyl playing mats, and we still sold the plastic ones. And uh, what a difference. It just made the game so much more enjoyable. Yeah. And uh, I knew then that we had to make that change. So, so contacted Miles. <laughs> change it again. Change it again. Reason change the play in that. Yeah. You got to change the packaging. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're not quite back to square one, but we're getting awfully close to backtracking to starting over again. So uh, I think the end result. Uh, really changed the direction of the company and uh, the sales uh, followed because of yeah. the changes to the yeah. product. Oh yeah, definitely. Big, yeah. Big, big, so stay big. tuned, you'll see what we came up with.